<sighs> Hello, survivors. You have this down to a science, don't you? I mean, I guess. Tried to stay on top of this, you know. You do it often enough, it kind of becomes a habit, you know? Habit? That's all it is? This is a ritual to you. I wouldn't call it. You get a drink of water. Stretch a little. Flex your jaw. Take a deep breath in, and then... To what? Oh, that's right. Give up all your personal information. <laughs> Uh, I guess. It's not my life story or anything. Are you daft? Well, it's not like it's my national insurance number or anything. And what use would that be to this world? I swear, you're only proving my question right. You're giving up too much. Oh, yeah? Like what? Oh, uh, I don't know. My name is Gabriel Blythe. I'm alone and sad. I'm here at this exact place and time every week for you to have a chance to rob me or find me, kill me, then rob me blind. You bring up valid points. However... Struck a nerve, have I? In a word... But, uh, and I am not used to having such strong criticism. If I were to... Oh, no. Did I hurt Gabriel's feelings? I wouldn't say that exactly. L like I said, you make valid points. You're damn right I do. Would you stop interrupting me? I do. I really do appreciate your feedback. But only when it comes with alternatives. I'm really doing my best here. I've been doing this for months now. Months! I didn't want to be alone. I didn't want any of this. And yet, I put all of this together. Are there smarter options? Something easier? Of course! But I figured at this point in time, not to be picky, not to overthink, just do something. We can't afford to be picky now. Picky? Really? Picky is the nicest way of saying it. I don't like this brand of oats. This blanket is scratchy. Don't you have anything softer? Mmm, I usually have tea before supper. I mean, that's a monstrous thing in and of itself! Well, you know what? I can't just order you a new kettle and your favorite tea. I can't have some fabric softener on the next wash. If you don't like the ways I'm doing things, then maybe you shouldn't have joined me. I really thought that this was going to be different. I realized that's dumb of me. I just, I just thought we would have this bond as some of the few survivors left on the face of this planet. I thought we could just work together, and yet you make it a tripping hazard just to be around. Not to mention the ravens that continually crap all over the place. You are such an idiot. You know what? If it wasn't for me and my, <laughs> my... You're what? <sighs> hmm? What? Why not talk about that night? What were you doing at the base, huh? How about that? How the hell did you get those ravens to attack a bunch of mindless people? You seemed like such a badass, but now, oh boy, now, you just seem like a spoiled brat. That's right, isn't it? You whined, and daddy brought you whatever you wanted. All to stay out of his way, hmm. Well, you can't be saved by daddy's wallet. Money can't save us. Can't save this. We live in this world, damn it. The world of hard truths. And the truth? The truth is, I'm fucking trying. What the hell are you doing? Feel better? Kinda. Kid, you 
gotta find a release. When was the last time you hit a punching bag, blew off steam? I don't see how that has anything to do with anything right now. Come on. Despite what I said, you are clever. I believe you can figure it out. What? Was all of that just to get me angry? Yes! You clearly are repressing something and I'm not going to be your unwilling therapist like you have put upon the people you pretend are listening to you. I also needed to know how you would react. Call it getting to know you better. I won't be around someone who just starts punching holes in walls. So when was the last time you blew off steam? I... I don't know. I've been busy. Uh Uh-huh. That excuse used to work. Back when the world had nine to fives, the kid had football practice after school, have to stop by the shop for orange slices. That's not how things work now. So why aren't you prioritizing yourself? Taking care of yourself? I don't think we can afford it. We are fine. We got a new place. No one knows where that is. We are making... We? As in all of us. The us who have survived. That's not your fault. I assure you, it's not. Of course it's not! But if I'm not working hard and I mess up something, who knows if someone will die out there because they couldn't hear me. Who could I have saved if I worked just a little harder, you know? If I watched the streets a few more hours? You are constantly telling me that there's a chance no one is listening. You say you aren't a hero, or that you want to be one. But here you are, putting the weight of the world on your own shoulders. I think you actually believe the world is counting on you. You don't... Uh Uh-huh. You process through that big thought. You know, however, I'm right. You want to be a hero. Maybe not with the cape and symbol on your chest, but you want the attention. The praise. Why else would you talk to no one for months? That's a lot for you to have to work through. I figured you needed a kick in the pants. I didn't know it would make you this silent. Look, I'll 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 leave. I'll You're just right. Go. You're right. I know. <laughs> it's, you're right about how it's a lot to work through. Yeah? You make good points. And... I'm just processing. I'm not saying you're wrong. I just need time. For what it's worth, hmm? he didn't buy me whatever I wanted. What? What? Clarence. My father. Sure, he bought me a lot of things, but he would just push them in my direction. I mean, he still bought you things. Right. Like how your office buys you pizza, then have the audacity to say, we got all the pizza and you should be happy now. We spent money on something you like. And they just keep talking about how expensive pizza is. You don't need pizza. What you need is a computer that works, not some extra boost in morale. Your problem is it fixed by random gifts that are loosely tied to what people have seen on TV that makes fake people happy. So assuming it worked there, it'll work anywhere. That metaphor kind of got away from you, didn't it? I mean, I'm hanging around you, of course it is. Oh, ow. <laughs> You are a very confusing person to be around. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. (laughs) 
You should have known me before the event. Well, if you have a new suggestion for what I've been calling it, be my guest. I will. I am all ears. A mistake. Not wrong. But this is where we live now. I. I'm sorry for what I said. Um, that's not fair to you. I don't think your methods are unreasonable. Or probably even ethical, really. But I should have communicated to you where I was at. And I'm sorry for swearing at you. Oh, however will I endure? Yeah. I guess I'm sorry, too. It's not the nicest I've been. You want to head back? I'll wrap up here. I don't think anyone will want to show up after the verbal tete-a-tete we just had. I made it this far. Might as well wait. Plus, you'll get lost in the snowstorm. Says the foreigner. <laughs> <coughs> well, dear survivor, if you're still listening, I'm sorry you heard that. I should not have involved you in that. Yes, random creep, I'm sorry too. What? Don't give me that face. If there's someone listening, they don't need to pick up on your bad habits. Or my amazing therapy skills. Right, 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 right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let me close this up then. Survivor, you aren't alone out there. Maybe you want to be alone after that? Especially after hearing mom and dad fight. Oh, gross. Mm -mm. Don't call us that. <laughs> Mm. Oh, no. Yeah, okay, yep, that one's on me. Stay safe out there, Survivor. When was the last time you got pissed? Pissed? Oh, so simple. Drink? Intoxicated? Sloshed? Under the influence? Um... 2008? Oh, goodness. Powers that be, you are boring. No wonder you lived through this. We will fix that. Might actually help you unwind. What the hell? 